In a moment that would forever change the course of history, a group of visionaries dared to imagine a world free from tyranny. These visionaries were not kings or emperors, but ordinary men and women living in the 13 British colonies in North America during the 18th century. Their world was one of growing discontent, a simmering pot of frustration and rebellion against an empire they felt was denying them their rights. Imagine bustling colonial towns, streets teeming with life, and whispers of rebellion in the air. This was a society in flux, a society on the cusp of a monumental shift. The seeds of change were being sown, and the colonists were about to take a bold stand against their oppressors. The rumblings of discontent were sparked by a series of acts imposed by the British Parliament. The Stamp Act of 1765, for instance, was a direct tax on the colonies that led to widespread protests. The colonists' rallying cry, no taxation without representation, echoed through the streets, capturing their sense of injustice and fueling their desire for change. Then came the Boston Tea Party in 1773, a defiant act of rebellion against the Tea Act. Colonists disguised as indigenous people dumped 342 chests of British tea into the Boston Harbor, an act that sent shockwaves across the Atlantic. The British response was swift and severe. The so-called intolerable acts closed the Boston Harbor, revoked Massachusetts Charter and enforced quartering of British troops, among other punitive measures. These acts were the final straw. They galvanized the colonies, uniting them in their shared outrage. These events, among others, set the stage for an audacious quest for freedom. The colonists were no longer willing to live under the yoke of British rule. They yearned for a world where they could govern themselves, a world free from tyranny. And so they began to dream of independence, of a new nation born from the ashes of revolution. These events set the stage for the colony's audacious quest for freedom. This was the revolutionary beginning, the spark that would ignite the flame of the American Revolution and lead to the creation of one of the most influential documents in history, the Declaration of Independence. In the heart of a revolution, the Continental Congress became the crucible where ideas of liberty and independence were forged. This assembly of delegates from the 13 colonies was a hotbed of intense debate and passionate discourse as the concept of a nation free from British rule began to take form. Among the myriad of voices, several stood out, their words echoing through the corridors of time. Thomas Jefferson, a man of profound intellect and eloquence, was a driving force behind the pursuit of independence. His vision of a self-governing nation free to chart its own course was not only revolutionary but also deeply inspiring. John Adams, a fervent advocate for independence, added his voice to the chorus. His impassioned arguments and unwavering conviction played a vital role in swaying the minds of the undecided. Adams believed that the colonies had the right and the duty to break free from the shackles of oppression. And then there was Benjamin Franklin, the elder statesman of the Congress. His wisdom, wit, and diplomatic skills helped navigate the troubled waters of dissent and disagreement. Franklin's pragmatic approach, coupled with his belief in the power of compromise, was instrumental in bridging gaps and fostering unity among the delegates. The Continental Congress was not just a gathering of leaders, but a crucible of ideas. It was here that the concept of a nation built on the principles of liberty, equality, and self-governance was born. The debates were intense, the discussions heated, but through it all a shared vision began to emerge. Despite their disparate backgrounds and differing ideologies, these men were united by a single cause, the pursuit of independence. The debates of the Continental Congress laid the groundwork for what was to come, setting the stage for the drafting of a document that would change the world. In the midst of differing thoughts, a unity of purpose emerged, the creation of a groundbreaking document. The seeds of revolution had been sown, and the stage was set for a document that would not only declare independence, but also lay the foundation for a new nation. The Declaration of Independence was on the horizon, and with it, a new chapter in the annals of human history. The Declaration of Independence, a testament to human rights and the pursuit of happiness, a beacon for all future generations. 
In a world shadowed by monarchies and rigid social hierarchies, this revolutionary document dared to imagine something different, something bold. It was the brainchild of a committee of five, but the principal author, Thomas Jefferson, lent his unique eloquence to the task. Over 17 days, Jefferson painstakingly crafted a statement that would echo through the ages. The document was divided into distinct sections. The preamble set the philosophical tone, drawing heavily from Enlightenment thinkers. It spoke of unalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This was a radical shift in perspective. Rights were no longer bestowed by a monarch, they were inherent, inalienable, universal. In its second section, the Declaration outlined a long list of grievances against King George III. It painted a picture of a tyrant, a leader who had violated the trust of his subjects time and again. These were not merely complaints, they were justifications for a drastic course of action, independence. The final section was a clear, unequivocal statement of separation. The 13 colonies were no longer under British rule. They were free and independent states. This was a risky, even reckless move, but it was a risk the signatories were willing to take, staking our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor on this bold endeavor. But the Declaration of Independence was more than a political document. It was a moral and philosophical manifesto. It was a proclamation that all men are created equal, a concept that would inspire countless movements for equality and justice in the centuries to come. It was a testament to the power of ideas, the power of words to inspire, to galvanize, to reshape the world. And so it was that on July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was adopted. It was a moment that marked the birth of a new nation, a moment that would forever change the course of history. Bold and unequivocal, the Declaration of Independence proclaimed the colony's separation from British rule. The Declaration of Independence was more than words on parchment. It sparked a revolution and forever altered the course of history. From the moment it was signed, the shockwaves of this transformative document reverberated far beyond the 13 colonies. In the immediate aftermath, the Declaration not only served as a rallying cry for the colonies, but it also galvanized them into action. The Revolutionary War, already underway, took on a new fervor. The colonists, no longer fighting for mere rights within the British Empire, were now striving for their own independent nation. The words of the Declaration gave them a cause, an ideology, a banner under which to unite. But the impact of the Declaration didn't stop at the shores of the New World. It echoed across the Atlantic, reaching the ears of those in other nations, chafing under the yoke of tyranny. Its powerful statements on human rights and the pursuit of happiness inspired countless movements for independence worldwide. From the French Revolution to the struggles for self-determination in Latin America, Africa, and Asia, the spirit of the Declaration was a beacon of hope. Over the centuries, the Declaration's influence has not waned. It has continued to shape the discourse on democracy and governance. It has been a touchstone for civil rights movements, a testament to the inherent dignity and worth of every individual. Its ideals have been invoked in struggles against oppression and injustice from the abolitionist movement and the suffragette crusade to the civil rights movement and beyond. Even in the realm of international law, the Declaration has left its mark. Its assertions about the rights of the people to determine their own governance have underpinned the principles of self-determination and popular sovereignty. Its call for the equal and inalienable rights of all has been echoed in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Declaration didn't just galvanize the colonies, it echoed through the ages, inspiring countless movements for freedom and justice. Its legacy is far from a relic of the past. It continues to shape our present and will undoubtedly influence our future. For as long as the human spirit yearns for freedom, the Declaration of Independence will remain a revolutionary document. Centuries later, the Declaration's influence on contemporary democracy, governance, and civil rights is undeniable. This revolutionary document, born out of a desire for freedom and a belief in the inherent rights of all, has left an indelible mark not just on America, but on the entire world. Each year, as fireworks light up the summer sky on the 4th of July, we are reminded of this powerful testament. 
These celebrations are more than a display of patriotism. They are a tribute to the enduring ideals of the Declaration, a reflection of its timeless resonance. It's not just in the United States where the influence of the Declaration is felt. Across the globe, countless nations have drawn inspiration from its words, its principles forming the bedrock of numerous constitutions and declarations of rights. In the hallowed halls of the National Archives, the Declaration is on display, its faded ink a testament to the passage of time, yet its words still as potent as the day they were penned. The sight of this historic document serves as a stark reminder of the bold vision of those who dare to imagine a world free from tyranny. From scholars to statesmen, the Declaration's significance has been widely acknowledged. Martin Luther King Jr., in his famous I Have a Dream speech, referred to it as a promissory note of freedom and equality. Renowned historian David McCullough called it a powerful tract for freedom, while former President Barack Obama regarded it as the star that guides us still. Through the lens of time, the Declaration's relevance has only grown, its ideals proving universal and its messages timeless. It continues to inspire, to challenge and to guide, serving as a moral compass in an ever-changing world. More than a document, the Declaration of Independence is a testament to the unyielding human spirit, its quest for freedom, and the belief in the inherent rights of all. It remains through centuries a beacon of hope and a call to action for those who cherish liberty.